Welcome fans, thanks for joining us for this Friday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Milwaukee Bucks. With Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. And we've got David Aldridge reporting in from the sidelines. And for the teams with new coaches, Clark, new systems, uh, still an adjustment for the players, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's an ongoing adjustment with a new head coach and new players and so forth. Uh, you know, some guys will pick things up quicker than others. Uh, so it can take a little time for everybody to get on the same page. Until then, you just have to continue to hit the rock and fight through it. Here's the dude. Drains it from 17 feet out. Knocks down that jumper easily over the taller defender. Not a high percentage look. Coach doesn't mind as long as you make it. Now here is Humphreys. Pass to Davis. Here it's Wilkins. Back to Davis. Second shot opportunity. A rebound by Johnson. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Milwaukee. Last time they met was in Milwaukee. They played a very efficient offensive game, creating good looks and converting those at a high clip. Give credit to the coaching staff for putting together a solid game plan. And, of course, the players for going out and executing. Now, here is Davis. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Lakers. Here's Moncrief. And that one, good. One of the toughest customers and competitors in the league, Sidney Moncrief. Here's Humphreys. Nine points last game out. The pass to Davis. Here's Wilkins. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Boy, excellent work from the talented swingman. Wilkins just taking it on the chin right there and still muscling through the contact. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Wilkins. Wilkins, no good on the free throw. Bucks have gone two or three here to start out the game. And Moncrief gets it to go. Nimble play by Moncrief inside the paint. Managing to get past the contact and to a shot. Now here is Humphreys. Not a lot of room. Pass to Hastings. Wilkins against Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Fades away. Johnson with the defensive effort. He tried to get space with the fadeaway, but it might have just disrupted his shot even more. And he gets it to go. Strong take by Johnson. He can score anywhere on the floor. For Atlanta, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Now here is Humphreys, guarded close. Wilkins outside. All alone. Rebound, Milwaukee. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe he was too open or something. He really should have hit that one. Here's the dude, and it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Tell you what, he looks laser focused out of the gate. Scary thought for the defense when he's locked in like that. And you worry about just how quickly he's working himself into a rhythm. Not what the D wants. Now here's Wilkins. 23 points for him the last game against the Lakers. And he was huge on defense, turning away two shots and altering countless more. And the basket is good. You know, this is why Wilkins is so highly regarded. I mean, he's got the ability to convert over tight coverage and make tough shots. The dude buries it from three-point range. The dude's got seven. Well, he's consistent from out there, especially when you give him room. The Hawks trail by nine. He takes it in, and the dunk by Humphreys. How about the aggression on the drive? Humphreys really taking charge there. Here's the dude. He has seven. Here's Lister. Rollins grabs the board. He'll normally convert on that finish. The defense got lucky. Wilkins passes to Davis. Davis. 
passes it to Hastings. And here is Wilkins. Makes it off the glass. Wilkins has got his third bucket of the night. You like how Wilkins stays flexible in the paint, ready to adjust around the defense however he has to. And that one's good, the dude. He's so difficult to slow down when he gets that fire in his eyes. Up top, Humphreys. And you can see his scoring totals. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's putting up close to 15 points a game on average. Now here's Wilkins. Seven-point differential. Count the basket. He's got eight. Well, Dominique runs into some tight defense, but sticks with his shot and manages to push through. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Davis has checked in for the Hawks. Substitution on the court. And Milwaukee has possession. Coming off that loss against Philadelphia. You know, if we're truthful, last game was just a bad one for them. And it wasn't just the offense or defense. It was everything. And here is Macy. And uh, right now he's averaging about seven points a game. Fires top of the key. And that one's good. The dude. The dude's got 11 points. This is clearly a man on fire. Was tremendous last game. And that has bled into this game. Just a force on offense. Rollins with a screen on Mason. Davis the pass to Rollins. Macy up top. He's guarded by Davis. Pass to Kersey. The pass to the dude. 14 feet away. Rollins grabs the board. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. Pass to Davis. The Hawks working the ball around. Now, here is Humphreys. D right on him. Launches from deep. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You look at the Bucks. Off to a great start this season, currently in second. And, of course, the Hawks. Six and a half games behind them. And the action on hold, as it appears there's been an injury. Yep, he's definitely in a bad way out there right now. Tough to see. Boy, and that's always hard to see. I mean, I really hope it's not too serious. One of the cruelest things about sports is injury. You hate seeing something like that happen. Dominique Wilkins, he's checked in for Rollins. Milwaukee leading by seven. The dude passes to Kersey. Goes back up. Good D by Johnson. Always rough to miss a layup like that. The defense bothered him for sure. Outside for Davis. Back to Johnson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. A good job preventing the layup. I think it's smart to make him earn it from the line. Yeah, intelligent defense there. The coaching staff encourages these guys to do whatever they can to avoid giving up easy buckets. Good on the second free throw. Here's the dude. 11 points in the game. Markeski passes to the dude. Now Kersey. And that one is stuffed right through. A solid athlete. Once Kersey gets an angle he likes inside, he looks the dunk it. Driving to the basket. Outside for Davis. Fifty-nine seconds left to play in the first. The shot's good. It's simple. You got to get a body into your man. Box out if you want to rebound the ball. Defensive rebounding is about effort. 
trying, being willing to put a body on someone. Dominique Wilkins has checked in for Davis. The Bucks also with the sub. Foster's checked in. We play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. It's Wilkins on the wing. Pass to Hubbard. Wilkins up top. Five on the clock. Shoots over Johnson. A terrific move by Wilkins to score. He uses his agility to get a lot of good looks, and Wilkins has shown he's a prolific scorer. The dude passes to Moncrief. Johnson kicks to Moncrief. Here's the dude. 11 points in the game. It's good. The dude's got 13. And, you know, he's going to take that shot every time. The defense has to respect him from the mid-range. Here's Hubbard. Throws it up high. Right side Davis over Moncrief. And it's Davis missing. Well, I like the defense there. Right up in his grill. Didn't give him a chance. The dude passes to Moncrief. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And now, just a two-point Hawks lead. Hawks have gone four of six in the field here in the second. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Wilkins surveying the defense. Good for another basket. He's put up ten shots and made seven of them. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Here's the dude. He's got 13. Basket counts. He's got 15. Oh, man, check out the handle. I didn't know he had that in this game. Here's Hubbard. And Johnson now top of the key. It's Wilkins on the wing. On grief defending. On grief against Wilkins. Atlanta needs to get off a shot here. Here's Hubbard. Clemen Johnson. First personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for your points. Scott Hastings. Jay Humphreys. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Pass to Johnson. With the shot, and again, it's Milwaukee converting. Johnson ran into a little opposition inside there, but kept his composure. Didn't rush anything and managed to get the shot through. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Humphreys the pass to Johnson. Now here is Humphreys. Wilkins in the post. On grief defending. Wilkins can't get it to go. And the defense was ready for that. They know he's a threat at the rim and swarmed him on that layup. Johnson gets the bucket. Excellent effort that time from Johnson to get that shot up and down through contact. Humphreys with it. From 15 feet away, the rebound by the Bucks. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity for mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. Nice work from the mid-range. Johnson is creative at finding space to get his shot off. The Hawks trail by four. Now Humphreys. Johnson 
Johnson outside. Wilkins against Moncrief. And it's stolen by Moncrief. And the pass to the dude. Baseline jumper. And another basket for Milwaukee. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. Their defensive intensity has been impressive so far, really making it hard for the offense to hold on to the ball. Another big component of their game early on has been their execution on the fast break. They're getting a bunch of easy baskets, pushing it in transition. And now the first time I've called here for the Hawks. Both teams deciding to change it up. Humphreys with the bucket. He uses his quickness to his advantage. Humphreys a tough one inside. And it's Milwaukee's ball. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Here's the dude. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. Scoring the ball. He has been lethal and efficient. Wow. And it's Davis with the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. Six-point game. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. It simply came down to their inability to get enough shots to fall in that last meeting. Their chances were there for them, but they didn't convert. And sometimes a few shot misses here or there make all the difference. They know they'll have better luck in the future. Here's the dude. His three-pointers off the mark. The Hawks have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. Davis finds Humphreys. It's blocked. Solid work on defense from Kersey. Gotta love when he hustles and comes up with the blocks. 127 left in the first half of basketball. Here's the dude. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. When it comes to scoring the ball, he is prolific and proficient. Outside, Davis. Pass to Hastings. Now, here is Humphreys. From about 16. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Can't afford to leave him open for mid-range. You're asking to get burned when you do this. Creevy passes to Foster. Over Davis. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. So it's the Hawks now. They trail by six. Humphreys kicks to Davis. Back to Humphreys. The Hawks working the ball around. Eyes a three. It's rebounded by Mokeski. And it's been tough going for their half-court offense, Mike. We've seen it all game long. Yeah, this defense is in their heads, anticipating their every move. You know, their offense has looked a little more tied together, more cohesive when compared to the opposition, which is why they're shooting a better percentage. Yeah, and give the coaching staff credit for how they are guiding this team, getting the guys to run their plays. Trying to grab hold of that momentum right here. Well, that play, that play right there, that'll fire up your teammates. Hey, they're still competing. And that one falls, coming off of Davis's speed. Now, just a five-point Milwaukee lead. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Bucks ahead. They lead by five. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. I don't think there's any question about it. The coach talked to them at halftime about what adjustments they need to make in order to slow him down and keep him from going off. Yeah, he really torched them in the first half. I'm sure a lot of their focus will be on slowing him down in the second. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Moment here now for an injury report. 
Thanks, Kevin. I got some news from the Hawks' head athletic trainer. And guys, unfortunately, he has a collapsed lung. Obviously, that's very bad news. Unfortunately, he's going to be out for a while. This is an injury that takes some time to heal. That's tough news. Back to you guys. David, thanks for the new info on his status. And Clark, I know we've all been wishing him a very speedy recovery. Most definitely. Injuries are still such an unfortunate reality of the game. And we know they're going to happen. But they're never pleasant when they do. Mm, what a shame. Yeah. Well, on the floor and in recovery, it's all about taking care of yourself. I'm sure he's been doing just that. He hits both from the stripe. Well, you think about it. What makes Marcus Johnson such a great player? Well, he does it all from the forward position. Racks up points, drops dimes, he rebounds the ball effectively, helps out in a bunch of different ways. Just a terrific all-around forward. Now, here is Humphreys. Outside Wilkins. Shot clock at six. Shoots over Johnson. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down now to just five on the bucket from Dominique Wilkins. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. And that one's good, the dude. It's basically been all him. I mean, he scored most of the points himself. And here's Humphreys. 12 points for him. Passes it to Hastings. It's Wilkins on the wing. Just over a minute and a half had passed here in the third quarter. Davis finds Humphreys. Back to Davis. Six to shoot. Johnson against Wilkins. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lister's got his fifth rebound in this one. Bucks leading by seven. Here's the dude. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. Good work shaking free of the defense and finding his shot. And it's Davis with the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. Here's Humphreys. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. The focus from Humphreys. So impressive. Able to take the contact and still sink it. And this is... Here's the dude. 28 points for him. Let's it go from the wing. No good that time. Really tough to see a quality look like that go to waste. Just couldn't quite finish the job. Just a tough break, especially because opportunities that good don't often come along. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Here's Foster. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Here's the dude. A rebound by Johnson. Here's Atlanta now. They're on a 10-2 run here. It's Davis with the drop over Foster. Denard. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Clearly, he got it, no doubt. Good job by the officials. Yes, we are giving credit to the officials. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Atlanta. They were so aggressive from the start, getting the ball into the painted area. They stuck to their game plan, and it's paid off. And I love the way they've been attacking the basket. I mean, they've looked to penetrate every opportunity they've had, and they've done a nice job doing that. Dominique Wilkins, he's checked in for Atlanta. Foster passes to the dude. 16 feet away, he gets that one. 30 points for the dude. There are very few guys that can hit those type of shots. Wilkins outside. Johnson surveying the floor. Davis, that's for two. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. And he's got his first free throw of the game. At the line for your Hawks. The first free throw is good. Johnson, he's checked in for Kyle Mason.
and both free throws good for Davis. 34 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. The dude passes to Foster. 23 seconds left in the third. Clock at six. Steps back. Here's Johnson. Tries again, and the layup is good. Brewer's got six. Effort is a skill, and one he possesses in abundance. Outside Wilkins. Shoots over Foster, and he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's Milwaukee bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Bucks leading by seven. Here's the dude. Banked in off the glass. The dude's got 32 points. It's obvious he's looking to continue to attack on offense so this lead can expand. And if you were hitting like he is in this one, you would be too. His efficiency has done a lot for them. Hubbard the pass to Davis. Wilkins against Moncrief. Wilkins shot is off. The Buck shooting has been fun to watch in this game. They're at 57%. Johnson gets the bucket. And the Bucks lead by 11. I like that they're putting in the work trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Atlanta making a switch here. Kelly's checked in. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Guys, Mike Fratello had some advice for his team during that last break. And it was an intense huddle. Coach challenged his team. He told him the effort's not there. It has to get better. We'll see if those words work, Kevin. Thank you, David. Pass to Hubbard. Got a hand on it. Outside for Davis. Here's Hubbard. Back to Davis. Shot clock at five. Wilkins the pass to Davis. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Great shooters rarely miss open looks like that. Can't bank on that moving forward. They need to cover better from here on out. And he gets the bucket. Not content to sit on this lead. I like it. Going right at him. Yeah, just fanning the flames, trying to leave no chance for a comeback. It's Wilkins on the wing. Atlanta again, missing. Offensively, he just seems to be out of gas in this half. I'm not sure what he needs to get his shooting on track. Good! The dude's got 12 points here in the second half. How do you expand the lead? Increase it. It takes good play on both ends. Yeah, it's not just about buckets. Not just about stops. You need both. Hubbard shot is off. And the Bucks with possession. It's been eight unanswered points for him. Johnson can't get it to go. The Hawks trail by 15. On the wing, Davis, covered by Kersey. Here's Hubbard. He dishes it to Kelly. The dude grabs the miss. Bucks have gone an outstanding four or five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. And the Bucks with some changes. Brewer comes in for Kersey. And it's Macy in for the dude.
Davis, the pass to Humphreys, and that one falls coming off of Davis' speed. Humphreys has got 21 in the game. Love seeing this kind of interior passing. This is how you break a defense down. Now Foster. Now the pass to Macy. On the wing, six to shoot, and that one's good, the dude. The dude's got eight here in the quarter. The Hawks trail by 15. Humphreys, the pass to Wilkins. Back to Humphreys. Pass to Wilkins. Davis up top. Here's Humphreys. No good from outside. And for Milwaukee, their shooting percentage, 59%. The offense is running smoothly. Here's the dude, and it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Well, it's really hard to come back if you can't get stops. You've got to figure out a way to stop the bleeding if you're going to come back. And he looked very comfortable on that one. Not a lot of resistance. Passes to Johnson, and it's stolen by Moncrief. He's all alone. Drops in the breakaway layup, and the Bucks lead by 19. And now we'll get perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Bucks. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. And also, attacking in transition has been working for them. Credit them for running the break well and being opportunistic. Just four to shoot. Here's Wilkins. Releases from the wing and drills it. Wilkins has got ten points here in the second half. The floor awareness of Humphreys. Outstanding at whipping passes to open teammates. Boy, they certainly had their way with the opponent at both ends. A really solid night here for the Bucks. They did a great job, Mike, getting everybody involved. Great team win. It took a total effort. And so this will now translate to 14 wins on the season. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for the dude. On a roll offensively. He's been in the zone. Here's Humphrey. And you can see he was set right there in good legal guarding position. That's a nice job. And his teammates appreciate him sacrificing his body. Just a gritty defensive play. And the Bucks making a change here. 103 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Foster. Pass to the dude. Three-pointer. No good that time. Park their biggest problem so far, taking care of the ball. Yes, exactly right, Kevin. I mean, they've made some outstanding plays, but way too many turnovers as well. When you bring it inside, you have to go up strong because more often than not, you'll face stiff defense. Uses the glass to finish the layup. The dude's got 44. They've done a phenomenal job silencing this crowd. Now, the win, clearly in their sights. Great performance on the road. This will help build their chemistry as well. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. High post, Davis puts one up from 19. Rebounded by the Bucks. Boy, the defense just smothered that one. Draped all over him. Outstanding effort to contest without fouling. Here's the dude, and the miss. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. Mark, they played as well as you can play on the road. It is so hard, Kevin, winning on the road. I mean, blowing out the home team, that's even more impressive. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. And so for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan alongside our entire 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. See you later.